Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, later on in today's show, I'll be talking about two amazing organizations that you can find here in the Keys, one being Moat Marine Laboratory, the other, the Key West Firehouse Museum. But first, I want to introduce you to a dynamic woman that you'll find here in the Keys. All of the jewelry that you see behind me was created by Karen. Now, what I love about her designs is that they're all made with so much passion. The gemstones are carefully crafted and created into a true treasure for you. Her style is timeless and has become a favorite of many people down here in the Keys. Now what's fascinating is that this was just a passionate hobby of hers, but now it's turned into her own jewelry and design business. Karen, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you so much for having me, Jenna. You're welcome. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> it's wonderful having you, and I'm definitely going to be purchasing your jewelry after this. All right. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. How did you end up here in Key West, Karen? Oh, I have a fun story, actually. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I was on vacation with my best girlfriends from Buffalo, mm -hmm. our annual girl trip down here, and it was our first night out, and we were randomly in Irish Kevin's. The okay. bar down on Duval, mm -hmm. and I actually met my husband there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> While you were out that night, you met your husband. Yeah, it was one of those little eye-to-eye, -eye, you know, contact things, and mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if he's going to call me. We exchanged numbers that night, and uh -huh. it was the next day where we actually ended up, like, hanging out at night and getting mm -hmm. to know each other, and the story goes on, but long story <laughs> short, I ended up spending, like, the next four nights with him, mm -hmm. like, hanging out. Mm -hmm. My girlfriends were all gave him the stamp of approval. Right. And um, they left, and I decided to stick around a little bit longer just to make sure my feelings weren't, you know, was I going crazy, you right. know? Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyways, I got stuck here for Hurricane Charlie. Okay. So it was okay. nice because I had, like, some more relaxed time. And mm -hmm. in total, I think I was here for 10 days. And at the end of the 10 days, we knew we were, like, we have to try to be together. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So a month later, I ended up moving here. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's some other little travels within there, mm -hmm. but um, we made it happen, mm -hmm. and here you is, Yeah, here I am. That was eight years ago. Wonderful. Yeah. And now, when did this jewelry design business get started, Karen? Oh, you know what? It's always been something where I was collecting gemstones when I would travel, mm -hmm. and I'd kind of save these things, and they were just so pretty. Eventually, I started making um, jewelry probably a good eight years ago, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even longer, but what happened was when the actually turned into a business mm -hmm. it was um i started making these like zen wraps and i love this yeah these it's so really neat. cool kind of um it started short mm -hmm. where i just had these two pendants and i called it the zen wrap and wrap yourself in the quality of the gemstone and mm -hmm. i was kind of giving them to people and like teaching them about the gems mm -hmm. and they started saying can you make me one of those or where'd you get that bracelet that you're wearing and i'm mm -hmm. like oh i make it you know, but I never really thought of myself as a jewelry designer at the time. It was really mm -hmm. just a hobby, mm -hmm. and I was a corporate America girl, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> running around, keeping busy, and more and more people started asking me. And I lived in Arizona for two years, um, a, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and um, there is really where it, like, blossomed. Mm -hmm. Like, people were, I would be up all night making jewelry for people wow. or, like, sneaking into a conference room with a little bag of, you know, jewelry mm -hmm. and the girls would all come in at lunch hour and, you know, buy me out They'd and start, see it. yeah, mm -hmm. and then they would order more. Mm -hmm. So I would mm -hmm. end up being out, like literally up all night making mm -hmm. jewelry. And you loved doing it. I loved it. I didn't even think of the time, you know, mm -hmm. it's different than the crazy corporate job where right. I was like, oh, when does this end? Right. But with that, it really opened my eyes to understanding that, like, that was really like part of my next move was mm -hmm. going to be, mm -hmm. you know, making people feel beautiful, teaching them about the gems and the different qualities. And I really attribute that time in Arizona to that. Okay. And it was great because out there it's like the gem capital mm -hmm. of the U.S. Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. turquoise and they have gem shows, the biggest gem shows in the world are mm -hmm. held in Arizona. Mm -hmm. So I was really fortunate with that. So the time there in Inter Arizona yeah. made you what you yeah. are today. And we're going to yeah. talk all about this after these messages. We're going to take a quick break, but please stay with us. I'm talking with Karen Moore.